Hey guys, I'm really excited about this book review because the author is my friend, isn't that fun? Um, I'm going to be talking about Under Locker and Key. It's a middle grade novel by Alison Hymas. Um, I met her when, I, when we were in college. I think we worked together, but we also were in similar majors and so our paths overlapped a lot. Um, she's really fun and so when she told me she was being published, I was like, I'm totally supporting this, I love it! And so it's been really cool. Um, I went to um, they call them author links. It's something one of the local libraries here does, and so she came and talked about it, and that's where I bought her book. Um, so like I said, it's middle grade, and she said she wrote it because she was like, there's all these stories about the, um, heroes and whatever, but what if there was a story about the thief, right? Because she was like, it, she said that she had read a bunch of, like, um detective stories, Nancy Drew, things like that, right? They're all kind of for this age group, but we never hear about the thief. And so the premise is this guy, Jeremy Wilderson, he is a retrieval specialist. He doesn't steal things initially. He retrieves things that have either been stolen or lost or taken away. Um, but then someone uses that to their advantage and tricks him, and it ends up being a real um, thievery <laughs> that Jeremy does and he doesn't know until it's too late. So then it's about how he has to like save his reputation and um, put everything back to the way it's supposed to be though because he's very big on, I'm a retrieval specialist, not a thief, right? So, I loved it. Middle grade is not usually so much my thing, um, but Allison just did a really awesome job. She nailed the voice. Jeremy Wilderson is the narrator and he's funny, he's witty, um, sometimes he's charming, like he just had, he was this really great, um, narrator, and I loved it. She just totally nailed his voice, really got into him, and it was fun to read. Um, the other characters are very well done, um, and realistic, definitely realistic. He's got his kind of like arch nemesis, um, and she was funny. She was sometimes infuriating, which you want because you want to sympathize with the narrator and the main character, right? And so sometimes she was infuriating, sometimes she was totally spot on, and it's so annoying when they're right, you know? She was just really, really well written. Um, I felt like things were explained pretty well because it takes place in a fictional middle school, but I could tell that Allison was pulling experiences from her own middle school time. Um, but I could just like visualize and I understood policies of the school and things like that. It just all made sense because it was totally real to true middle school experiences. At the author link that I went to when she was there, she read some of the first chapter and then she read an excerpt from another part and as she was reading the first chapter when she stopped, my husband and I looked at each other and we were like, we want her to keep reading. Like it was just that fun right off the bat. So I'm actually gonna read just a section to you from the very beginning. Um, probably I'll just read a couple of the first opening sentences. Jeremy says, first off, I am not a thief. I am a retrieval specialist, big difference. Thieves take what doesn't belong to them, they steal. Me, I take back the things thieves steal and return them to their rightful owners. The job runs everywhere from crazy to boring to dangerous, but someone has to do it. So those are the opening sentences and it just kind of, it sucks you in right there. Um, it's just so fun. It was fun. And Jeremy has this like background of some pretty cool things that he's retrieved. And then of course the story you read is like the ultimate thing. Um, and it was, I just, I loved it. It was really good. And see, she signed my copy. Woohoo! I love having books signed. I think it's so fun to be like, I met this person who created this genius, right? Um, I don't have any negative things to say besides I found two typos. Like, and that's gonna happen in every book because authors, publishers, and editors can't be 100% perfect. So that was the only thing. Um, it was so fun, it was just fun. And the themes in there of following the rules, honesty, integrity, like where things, where lines are and whatever, I feel like you could get some really good discussions going out of that, whether it's like, in a book group or in a middle school classroom who has read this, you know, something like that. I feel like you could get a lot of great insights. Um, also, it's going to be a series, at least a trilogy. She said there's at least three coming. Um, 
And the first chapter of the second one is actually at the back of this, but I did not read that because I'd rather wait, or I guess it's a peek. I'd rather wait for the real thing. You know what I mean? Um, but I highly recommend this. It was so fun. It's clean, which is always nice. So you can definitely give it to kids at this reading level. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It's a middle grade, but you don't like have to worry about it, right? Totally clean. Really fun, witty, entertaining. Um, she writes above the reading level, which is good. Um, it helps vocab, but also when she threw in some vocab words, because Jeremy is a middle school student, he would say things like in parentheses, he would be all snarky and be like, oh, did you notice my vocab word? Like, aren't I good at that? You know, whatever. And I thought that that was a really fun way to approach it. So she's throwing around some big words, but it's Jeremy using them. And then he even says, hey, look, I learned that in my class, right? So I thought that was clever. I just thought, yeah, it was good. Anyway, um, I highly, highly recommend Under Locker and Key. Fun, entertaining. Honestly, when I wasn't actively reading, I was thinking about it. My husband was as well. He loved it and he can be so picky when it comes to books. Um, and actually, side note, I've read the Cinder series recently, like reread, and Jeremy reminds me of Thorn in the Cinder series. So if you like those and you like Thorn, I feel like this is Thorn as a child. Um, in an alternate universe, obviously they don't really cross over. Anyway, <laughs> so highly, highly recommend Under Locker and Key by Alison Hymas. Um, it was published by Simon & Schuster. Really fun. Quick read, if you're like me, kids would love this. I definitely believe that. I've been recommending it to people that either have middle school, there is a bug, that's gross. I've been recommending it to um, people that have middle schoolers or teach middle school or have kids in that range, right? Super great. Anyway, read it, check it out. Allison's awesome. Keep reading.